Hi, I'm Caitlin and welcome to my channel. So I've been wanting to do this for a really long time and I figured that the best way to kickstart my first video is by doing a shopping haul. I've been shopping like crazy and I've been buying things from fall decorations to fall fashion, hair accessories, shoes, and all sorts of other things. I've got some packages here today. I've got a lot more coming throughout this week and I think the following week as well. And I found some really cool companies along the way that I really, really like. And then I've also bought from a lot of existing companies that I have shopped at for years. So again, I found some really cool things. I'm really excited to show you guys. I also wanted to mention that my channel is going to be a mix of things, right? It's going to be very similar to how my Instagram is set up where sometimes it's going to be travel, sometimes it's going to be fashion, sometimes it's going to be things that I'm doing in the area or that I'm interested in. So I hope you stay for the ride. I think it's going to be really fun, really exciting, and let's get to some unboxing. Can you guess the first thing that I'm going to show you? It's a pair of shoes. These are my very first pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. I got them from Saks Online. They were having an end of the summer sale and I saw these and immediately picked them up. They're stunning. The level of detail, which obviously I'm not surprised by, uh, the crystals here, the mesh, which makes it really, really easy to walk in. And it's just, it's just really comfortable. I think that's what helps the heel height as well. This might be really high for some people. It might be low for some people, but I think what helps with this heel height is the back of this and how the shoe is structured because your foot is in there. Your ankle's not going to like roll on you, hopefully. Um, so really, really excited about these. The only thing I'm a little curious about, and um, I'll have to keep you updated on this long term, is the zipper. The zipper has been a little stubborn when I put it on. I'm assuming that one of the reasons is, is similar to when you buy a new pair of leather boots for the season, and you're trying to zip them up your calf, and they're a little tight, and they just take a couple of like wears for them to start to move and bend with your leg. I'm assuming that this might be the same thing with my foot, but I'll keep you updated. Very first pair again. They did not disappoint. They're stunning. My next few things are hair accessories. So if you follow me on TikTok, you probably would have seen this. This I got from Gucci a couple of weeks ago. Obviously, you can see it's made out of pearls. They have another one that's made out of crystals, but I actually like this one better. I thought I'd like the crystal one better, but there was something about this that looked a little more elegant that really kind of stuck out to me. I've worn this a couple of times recently and I love this. Lately I've worn it, I just pull one piece back and again I'm not doing a very good job at it, but, and I've just put it up here. And again, not the best pull back of my hair, but it's beautiful. And I think with my dark hair as well, it just looks really nice. I've just put this on with again, my work outfit, a cute little dress and Put this with it and it really elevated my outfit and i loved it i got a lot of compliments on it and 10 out of 10. my next two are from jennifer bear i've talked about jennifer bear a million times on my instagram account this is a new york city based company and they make some of the nicest headbands um and just really unique again made really well i just love the style of a lot of them so i have a lot of their pieces but i picked up yet another one from their new fall collection this obviously is a is a thinner headband it's velvet and it's got the perfect fall color i think and i usually just you know to just spice up an outfit I just usually just slip on a headband. This one probably looks a little dark because my hair is really dark right now, but I really love the idea of what a headband or a headpiece can really do uh, for an outfit, similar to shoes and things like that. The next one, again, is also from Jennifer Bear. It's a thicker headband. It's, um, it's red velvet. They call it ruby on their site. And for any Gossip Girl fans and Blair Waldorf fans, this is giving Gossip Girl and Blair Waldorf. I love this. So I'm planning, I've got like some holiday parties and some things like that that are coming up um, or that will be coming up. 
in a couple of months and this I think is perfect and for like Christmas day and stuff like that. Really, really excited about that. My last hair piece that I have at least today is from a brand called Laylet. Hopefully I pronounced it correctly. It's also a New York City brand. One of the things that they're known for, which I've never even thought of before or I've used before, is a pony cuff. Now this is heavy, like it's, it's heavy, but it's not like too heavy. You can tell that it's made well, which is exactly what you want. I picked the one with like some ribbing in it. They had a smoother one, but I thought this one had a little bit more character, at least kind of for my style. And then you can see the ponytail holder here. I've never used one. Let me see if I can uh, try it out. So I can't obviously tell from here, but maybe you can tell from your angle. I'll have to look at this, but it's just super easy. Lately, I've been wanting to throw my hair back a little bit and kind of want to do that if I'm wearing a regular outfit, not just if I'm working out. And I wanted something that can elevate this a little more than just, you know, a scrunchie or something like that. So I'm excited to play around with this one. As I stated earlier, these are what I have right now. I've got a lot of things coming in throughout the week and as well as next week from a really cool skirt to a new blazer that I'm super excited and about another headband. And I mean, so many things I've just been buying like crazy that I think I'm going to be surprised when I open the box. So I will talk to you soon once those come in and see you soon. Well, surprise to me, I just got a box of wine in. So speaking of things that I forgot that I ordered a little while ago, I got a box from Aveline, which is a wine company that Cameron Diaz and another individual started a couple of years ago. I've wanted to try it for a while and it just came in. I'm gonna insert a clip here in just a couple of seconds here, but I just wanted to give you a little bit of a background. My wine came in. All right, so I got the intro box. Take all of them out. This is the sparkling rosé. Okay. I think that's it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> No, it's not. Oops. All right, so this intro box that I got comes with a lot. <laughs> so the intro box came with nine different bottles, which is pretty big. It was about $200 for the whole thing plus shipping. It came with a sparkling, two white wines. This is what it just says white wine, Sauvignon Blanc two rosés, two reds, and two cabs. What they're known for and why they said they kind of started the business is that you pick up a, a random bottle of wine and it just says, you know, cab or rosé or whatever it is, right? It doesn't have any ingredients or anything like that on it. So that was one of the big things that, that they wanted to change. Right? You can see here, right, it says you know, made from organic grapes, vegan friendly, free from added sugar, artificial colors and concentrates. And then it says taste medium to full, bodied with notes of red berries and a hint of cocoa. It says light and fresh with notes of melon and zest. But one of my favorite things that I read about that I really, really thought was cool is it says pairs well with. Shared plates and easy conversation. This is the warmth in the sun of company of your best friend. Uh, candlelight and a starry night, a cozy evening with friends around the table. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to try it. I think I'm planning to do some sort of a wine tasting night with my friends and then we'll kind of try each one of these and figure out which one we like the best. But yeah, super excited to try these. So last night I got in two more deliveries. These are gonna be two new clothing items. One is from Koss and the other one is from All Saints, which are two more recent brands that I've gotten into the last couple of months. I love them and I saw these online. They're part of both of their new 
pre-fall winter collections this year and I had to get them. So the first one is from Koss. This, the color of this skirt, I'm sorry, I should probably back up. The color of this skirt is incredible. The blue satin, like light blue, like mini skirt moment. I thought this with like a cute black sweater and some high boots for the fall would be super cute. The fabric really got me on this one, I'm not gonna lie. I think skirts sometimes can be a little harder to pair than, you know, a dress or something like that. But I thought this just really stuck out to me and I really thought I could have a lot of fun with this skirt. So this is the first item, super excited about that. My second item is from All Saints. And we all know that longer jean jackets and lots of jean items are coming back this season. So with that, I got this. It's another skirt, it's a mini skirt. What stuck out to me about this was I love the detail around here. I wish that, I, that it went on the back as well. The back of the skirt is a little plain but I still think it's super cute. I tried it on last night. I really like this one. And again, I mean, I could wear this with like the white t-shirt that I'm wearing now. And this is also from Koss. So I just wanted to show you these, super excited. I'm leaving in just a little bit to get, and I apologize for my, uh, I just did some self tan last night. So my hands look a little bit crazy, but I am gonna go and change up my nail color. I'm trying to figure out which color I'm gonna get. I've got a wedding coming up and I'll show you my dress in just a second, but I've got a wedding coming up next weekend and I wanna find a color that will somewhat match my dress. So let's pick out a color. All right, let's find my dress. So I've got two family weddings coming up and I'm thinking that this is the first one that I'm gonna wear. I bought this from Saks when I was in New York, I don't know, a couple of two, three months ago. And this is the Halston brand, if anyone is familiar with that. But it's one shoulder. It's got some, obviously it's like sparkly and like a pink champagne-y color is probably the best way that I would describe it. And I just can't wait to wear this dress. But then I have to show you the shoes because it's just so good. I found these also at Saks when I got home. Oops. And these are the Jeffrey Randall. I've seen these shoes like everywhere after I bought them. But the texture of these with the dress is crazy. And I apologize for like how bad my bed is. But I mean, I just think it's great. I think it's so cute. I'm thinking that I might either do one of three things, um, a gold, a pink champagne kind of color, or I might do like a navy blue and go rogue a little bit. I think a dark navy blue could complement that a little bit, or it could make it look tacky. So I don't know which one I'm leaning towards. As you can tell, I kind of like darker, bright colors. So that's why I'm leaning a little more away from some of the other ones, but I don't know. I always change my mind when I, when I get to the salon. So I will let you know what I end up choosing. So I just finished getting my nails done and the color that I chose was blue. They've also got a little bit of sparkle in them so I thought that they were kind of fun. The clutch that I'm bringing is a Saint Laurent blue clutch that I think will complement the dress and the, the with the pink shade really well. I also wanted to say that I will include all of the links to all the things that I showed you guys earlier below so if you want to take a look at them or anything like that I'm going to provide those in the same order that I kind of showed you so they'll, they'll be easier to find. I think I'm going to close out the my first vlog here. It, this has been so much fun. I just like thank you so much for watching. I hope that this has been like entertaining or I don't know anything of the sorts for you. I'm going to share some of the other things that I bought a couple of weeks ago and I've got some fun weekend plans. So again it's going to be a mix of things but I think it's, it's going to be entertaining hopefully to say the least so thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you soon